So in this next example, we're going to stay working with the idea that one can of orange juice concentrate is mixed with three cans of water to make juice. So it's the same circumstances as the last example. So the first thing is how many 250 milliliter cans of concentrate are needed to make five liters of juice? Well, we could set this up and do it as we've done before, but we calculated in example three that one 250 milliliter can of concentrate will make one liter of juice. So now that we have that relationship, we can just simply multiply by five. If one can makes one liter, five cans will make five liters. So we need five cans of concentrate to make five liters of juice. So how many liters of concentrate are needed to make 3.5 liters of juice? Now again, even if you kind of have the number and you know, we have to be careful in this case because there are a couple of different things happening that we need to be aware of. So I am going to start it and use proportions and set up some ratios. So 250 milliliter of concentrate makes 1000 milliliters of juice. That's the result from example three. So the ratio of concentrate to juice is 250 to 1000. Notice I've overlooked water in this case because we're, the question is concentrate and juice. They're asking for 3.5 liters of juice. So the 3.5 is absolutely going to come and be in the place where we have juice set up in the ratio. And concentrate is what I'm missing. And this has to be equal to our 250 to 1000. So it's a proportion. But there's a problem. We have to use the same units. 250 milliliters of concentrate and 1000 milliliters of juice. They're all the same. But if I come over to the 3.5 liters, I have a problem. It's not in milliliters. And when you're setting up a proportion, we need to use the same units. So I'm going to take the 3.5 liters, multiply it by 1,000 to get 3,500 milliliters because there are 1,000 milliliters in every liter. So I'm actually going to get rid of the 3.5 liters and replace it with 3,500 because now my units are consistent across all my known values in the proportion. I replace the question mark with a variable, C in this case for concentrate. I rewrite it as fractions, cross multiply, and solve for C. And when I'm done that, I end up with 875 milliliters. Not a bad looking answer at all. But here comes one of the other problems, is it asks for how many liters of concentrate. Well, we've never talked about concentrate in liters before. Concentrate has always been in milliliters. We worked in milliliters because that's what all the units were. But now I can just take this 875 milliliters and convert it back into liters. So to go from liters to milliliters, it was a multiply by 1,000. In this case, we're going the other way we want to go from milliliters back to liters. So from milliliters back to liters, so we're going to divide by 1000 to get 0 0.875 liters. So the answer is to make 3.5 liters of juice, we need 0 0.875 liters of concentrate.